Now we have a change of scenery today. I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you in my bathroom. I feel so much more comfortable doing tutorials in my bathroom. My stuff is here. I have like a flow. So this is going to be a really good one. So I'm going to be doing some summer hair today, like a summer mermaid beachy wave hairstyle using this three barrel waver. This one's from Mermaid and it's the cutie. It's the little one. I have a discount code down below that you can use if you're interested in getting it after this video. But I just put my hair up while I did some my makeup today. Take my hair down and we're gonna go through all the steps. Don't forget to head over to Instagram at Hollywood Beauty. I'm over there. And I don't forget to subscribe to me here at Hollywood Beauty on YouTube post every week. So I start off by sectioning my hair off with a hair clip. The hair I'm gonna be going in with, I just kind of combed it out, but I like to make sure that it's fully combed out. It's a heat protectant. This is my favorite heat protectant right now. Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray. It smells so good. I like to spray my hand and then kind of apply it on the hair. Like an even coat. It smells like absolute heaven. And we'll leave products I use down below. You guys need that heat protectant. Like 280-ish, 290. Just realized how loud it was outside. There's like diesel trucks outside, so I closed my window. Take the iron. It's okay to go kind of right up to the hairline on the bottom layers. On the top, we'll do something a little different. And I flip it vertical, this, when I apply it, because otherwise you'll get a crease with this lip kind of. So I clamp it and kind of turn it vertical and then go all the way down. And this iron does a really good job of like, those curls are perfect. So it kind of just slides into the next notch. Take like a couple inch sections and kind of right at the root because it adds a little bit of volume underneath, which I like is fine so i obviously wanted to go on that lower heat setting and this like obviously you can tell this is working just fine with my hair i don't need any more heat on there so it's just makes perfect curls like this or perfect waves i'm going to do the other side just making sure i'm sliding into the right notch so that it's obviously a perfect zigzag all the way down. I don't have any like flat areas. So the bottom layer is all done. You can see that it adds that volume underneath when you do the curl that way, which is amazing because it'll kind of fluff out. Go do the middle layer. Take the clip out. I toss my other hair back. Leave like the very top for the end. Make sure there's no knots. the middle layer is done with the top layer sharp comb to do a straight part because that's what i'm going to wear i'll take the top piece so i'm not going to go too close and i'm going to make sure to really turn this one vertical because i do not want a line on the top of my head to hold for like a few seconds with this iron and i'll do one more and then i'll just do this front piece Kind of flat here and then wear the hair kind of around the corner <laughs> of my head if that makes sense kind of right here front piece here i just have to concentrate when i'm doing that so i pull it forward away from the face so you don't burn yourself again that same spot kind of right here I do a clamp and then another little one depending on how long your front pieces are curls are in last steps are styling and some sprays the first thing i'm going to do is go through with just a little bit of dry shampoo this is the way super dry shampoo it smells amazing it works amazing i'm gonna put this kind of i like to put it in the front layers around my face so that it doesn't look too greasy or anything like that kind of add some grit and volume to the hair as well. I like to do that around the face. I'm gonna have some fun teasing. So that dry shampoo kind of acts as a texturizing spray. Go underneath kind of my curls, making a teasing brush. This is from the dry bar. It's kind of my favorite teasing brush. Going underneath on the areas I curled to make them a little bit bigger and wider. 
also the top of my hair. It doesn't get frizzy or anything like that. And I like the pieces kind of around my face to go kind of down like that. Hairspray to kind of set it in place. This is the Unite Busta Finishing Hairspray, which is perfect. I know. Spray it, rinse it out. Perfect. This is exactly how I wanted it to look. So these are my finished Beach Waves using a three barrel waver. This one's from Mermaid Beauty. This is just like the perfect hair for summer. You can also do like a half up style with it or put your hair in like a messy bun and have these fun pieces coming down. There's so many ways to do it and I definitely will make some more hair, summer hair tutorial videos because they're like the most fun. So don't forget to like this video down below and follow me here at Hollywood Beauty on YouTube. And don't forget to head over to my Instagram at Hollywood Beauty as well and follow me over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.